Hello and welcome to another GCN training session with me, your host Connor Dunn. Today we have 25 minutes of all out cycling for you. It's going to be a good one. Varying cadence efforts on this one. So we're going to be changing our leg speed, high, low cadence, and keeping you all on your toes. We are sticking with the GCN training perceived effort scale, one out of 10 being the easiest effort you can do on your bike, 10 out of 10 being the hardest. I'm gonna talk you through this session, give you some direction, make sure you're getting the most out of yourself and you're completing it in the right way. At the moment, we're starting off with a bit of a warm up. Two out of 10, spinning the legs, get ourselves up to speed, waking ourselves up after a potentially long lunch, or maybe we're just getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Oh, we've had a long old day, just trying to wake up those muscles, get ready for a good old session. Now let's start up in the pace in three seconds. Switch up through the gears. Two minutes now, three out of 10. It's a perfect time for me to introduce our guests with you today. Cami on the front. We've got Liam, I like to call him the silent destroyer. Katie at the back. And Maddie there, just hiding, getting a good bit of draft from Cami. It's gonna be a solid one, Cami. Looking forward to this. What's your preferred cadence? Uh, my preferred cadence would be around 85. Okay. Yeah. Pretty, pretty usual then. I think I'd say the same for myself. So on this one, we're gonna be going a bit higher than that and a bit lower. Just where you're a bit kind of not used to riding, a bit uncomfortable, it's a bit unnatural. Yeah, straight into the hurt locker. Now, if you're unsure of what cadence is at home, maybe wondering what I'm talking about. Cadence is your revolutions per minute. It's the amount of times it takes one pedal to do one full revolution as you're pedaling. So if you have a way of measuring it at home, you can go off that on your head unit, perhaps simply counts the revolutions in one minute. Quite laborious or follow along with me, try and match my leg speed. And do your best to stick with it. Real good session this one, just for getting used to those changes and acceleration you may experience when you're out on the road. It's not always possible to ride at our preferred cadence. Steep climb, steep gradient, or you just want to try and hold your gear push through a certain effort. Let's up the pace now. Five out of 10 for a minute. Make sure you get those liquids on board. Keep drinking, replacing everything you've lost. Last little push on this warm up now. Starting to get a sweat on, starting to get the, the breathing rate to rise. Starting to get out of breath. And we're just gonna knock it down again before we get into the real crux of the session. And knock it down now, three out of 10. Nice and easy. Thanks a lot for joining us at home. This is a great old session, kind of based on something I used to do. Mix this into longer rides. Good for activating different muscles in the legs. Could really make you more efficient with your pedaling style too when you're out on the road. Always a good thing to work on. A really valuable one to do on the trainer. Quite hard sometimes to do cadence efforts out on the road. Especially if you live somewhere where it's always stop start, lots of junctions, lots of traffic lights. The trainer is the perfect way to get that long continuous effort in if you don't have those sort of Long open roads, maybe mountain climbs. 
to get some specific work done. We do have loads of these sorts of sessions on the GCN training channel. So if you are looking to get a bit more working on the bike at home from the comfort of your shed, perhaps, or your bedroom, then this is the place to do it. Right, we're getting to the end of this warm up block now. We're gonna head into this first four minute block. It's gonna be split into one minute intervals throughout the four. We're starting off with low cadence, a really slow, low cadence, pushing a harder gear. I'm gonna to switch to a high cadence and then back again and alternate in between the two. Effort level is gonna remain steady, around seven out of 10, but it's just that cadence that's gonna change. And in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Seven out of 10. 60 RPM. So nice and slow. Make sure in the right gear to match the effort. Engage your core. Try and keep good form. Make use of those glutes. Feel every muscle in the pedaling stroke. Real good one for building strength and some power. 60 is a benchmark, try and keep it 50, 60. Definitely under 65 revolutions per minute, I think, to get the most out of this one. In 10 seconds, let's keep the same effort level. We're going to go to a high cadence. Really spinning the gear. Three, two, one, and let's switch to a higher cadence. Spin, 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 come on, gammy, up, 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 up. Up that leg speed, 110 RPM. Really putting yourself outside your comfort zone now. Try and stay solid in the seat. Avoid moving that upper body drive with the legs. Like a hamster whirring around its wheel. That's it, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Halfway there, then we're gonna drop down to a lower cadence. 20 seconds. Keep spinning it. Up, 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 high, 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 high. Okay, and drop to a low cadence now. That's it, settle down, keep the effort level constant, seven out of 10, low cadence. Bit of a harder gear over there, Liam. Slow that cadence down. Looking for 60 revolutions per minute. Really engaging all the muscles in the legs. Trying to stay nice and controlled. And now let's switch back to spinning and up, 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 up. It's straight up to speed quick. Changing rhythm, super hard to deal with. Really great training though, this one. Keep it going, so tough, switching between the two. Seven out of 10, come on everyone, up, 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 up. And we got a bit of rest after this one, go on to the end, to the end, keep it going Cammy, come on. 
And there we go, two out of 10. Woo, felt that one. Let's knock it down a bit, get some proper rest. Get the fluids on. How'd you find that one, Cami? Yeah, as I say, it's gonna be difficult for me being used to uh, a slower cadence, trying to keep up with the, with the high cadence. So unnatural. It's tough, isn't it? It's just kind of like being outside your comfort zone. Yeah, you just got, even if you're not quite hitting the effort level, just that change in rhythm gets you going. We're gonna have a few more attempts at that. Two more attempts. So, felt like you didn't quite make it at home. You maybe could improve your technique. You've got two more attempts coming up at that block. Really about switching the cadence from low to high quite quickly, getting on top of that gear. Not too much rest in between. I used to do this one out on the road in a group with my team, so you'd, you'd have to ride at everyone else's pace. It'd be quite tough to go into those low cadence efforts. And you really notice how some people preferred riding at high cadence, some people preferred at low cadence, and it would always be a bit of a tough one. Be this long drag out of Nice, I believe. This long false flat road we do it on. All right, we've got 30 seconds left. And we're going back into it, starting off with that low cadence effort, four minutes, alternating high and low. Okay, right, let's get into it. Low cadence to start off for a minute. Really drive down through the gears. So good for getting a bit more efficient on the bike, I think, with this session. Really underrated thing to work on is cadence. Such a valuable skill. Take some concentration as well. Seven out of 10 on the effort levels. So we're still pushing on, you're still feeling those legs. I burn a bit, you're feeling the fatigue in them. Hang in, they do a great job. And let's knock it down. High cadence now for a minute. And really spin it, that's it, Cami, up to speed. Fast legs, straight into it. Try and keep your upper body still. Planted in the saddle, really driving down. Almost have to kind of relax your feet. They naturally go through the pedaling motion without hindering you. Work everyone, keep it going, keep spinning, keep spinning. Really good to have a strong core on this one. Just helps you stay planted and drive through the gear. And we're about to change back to our low cadence and back to low cadence. Keep on top of that effort. Use those glutes pushing down through the stroke. Just need to find your groove. Don't need to accelerate, just find that effort level, find that pace, just maintain it. I think it can be tempting when you're doing a low cadence effort to just want to accelerate and just get yourself naturally back up to where you normally ride at. The key is just to get to this point and just stay there. Not let yourself just slowly go back to what you used to. Making sure the resistance is set right on your trainer is really important here. So you might need to notch the resistance up a bit just so you're able to put the right amount of force down on the pedals. As you can see, it's still a hard effort. Still getting the sweat on. 
Right, back to a high cadence effort now. Straight away, let's spin. First five seconds, you need to be back up to speed, back into it, and spinning to win. Final minute, we're inside now on this effort. Some recovery coming up after this one. Really solid core, keeping your upper body still. Just driving through with your legs. Up, 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 up. Try and get that legs turning as fast as possible. Okay, five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and there we have it. Woo! Nice work, everyone. We've got two minutes recovery now. Two minutes, take that. Make the most of it. On oh, final, about to go. Last hurrah of this session. minute to go. Good to get out of the saddle here, have a bit of a stretch. My notes are picking up a bit of fatigue in different areas, just from the uncomfortable nature of being at a different pace than you used to. Yeah, it really brings your legs tight after the, after the, the spinning, all the high cadence. Yeah. yeah. And you do feel that kind of legless feeling, for sure. But if you can repeat this session a few times at home, Get it going a couple times a week even, just so we're spread over a few weeks. You really do notice the difference in quite a short space of time. And you'll notice it out on the road. Pammy's getting a big old sweat on though. I know, the only time I enjoy high cadence is if I'm at the back of the race trying to relax. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, we've got 10 seconds coming up now. 10 seconds to go. Straight back in some low cadence work. Let's do it, everyone. Here we go. Right, we're into it. Seven out of 10, 60 RPM. Around 60 RPM. Basically slower, lower cadence than what you used to. Still putting that effort in. You still got that pressure on the legs, that torque going through the cranks. It can also be quite a nice session to do this one on an easier day if you just notch the effort level down a bit. Great one for activating those muscles. Just something to work on and break up an easy ride too, just alternating that difference in cadence. Ten seconds to go, then we're going high cadence again. Five, four, three, Two, one. Right, high cadence. Hundred and ten RPM if you can. Okay, in five seconds, we're gonna switch to our low cadence. 
Let's try and do as quick as we can. Two, one, locate us now. Straight into it. Concentrate now on the effort. It's the end of this session. Inside five minutes to go, so keep the motivation, keep the focus. Just focus on getting that leg speed right. That's 10 seconds, and we're going to finish off with that high speed block. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to some high caters. Woo! That's it, Cammy. Good effort digging. Get the legs up to speed. They're so sluggish getting going. You're not going to be walking straight after this one. <laughs> Got it, bro. Dig in now. Get into the end of this one. Come on. Let's do it. 30 seconds to go. Come on. And knock it down. Bit of easy riding now. Oh, get those fluids on. We've got three minutes to go. And finish strong. Gonna pick up the pace in a bit. Yep, nice one. I tell you, honestly, this is so helpful if you're riding a group and you're trying to follow other people's wheels and you're riding at a pace that you're not used to. Just getting to practice that changing cadence is really helpful. If you're riding on your own, then great, but if you are riding with other people, it's always at a pace which is slightly different to what you might ride yourself. So it does help a lot. But we've got five seconds to go now and we've got a little sharpener coming up. So you ready? In three, two, one. Eight out of 10, let's do it. Final minute, come on. Eight out of 10. 100 RPM, essentially what you're comfortable with riding, but now I just want you to push on a bit harder. Really get the most out of yourself now and just feel what your legs are like after doing what you're not quite comfortable with. See how you cope with this effort. Good luck at home, keep it going to the end. Coming up to 30 seconds to go. And then we're gonna have our final minute of recovery at one out of 10 super easy riding. So come on. Ooh. 20 seconds, come on, give it your best. Ooh. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, knock it down now. Two out of 10, one out of 10, whatever works for you. For one minute. Nice and gentle. Deep breaths, get yourself under control. Quite a short recovery here, but if you do have a bit more time and you're able to try and ride for a bit longer, just get a bit more cool down in nice, gentle, easy riding until you at home feel ready to jump off the bike and tackle whatever is coming up next. But big thank you for joining us on this session on GCN Training Channel. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments too what you thought of that one. If you want a few more alternating cadence style sessions and do check out some of our other videos on the channel. It's always a pleasure to share these ones with you. Always love presenting them here in the GCN Training Dungeon. Thanks to our guests as well for following along. And as always, 
We'll see you on the next video. Woo!